It says, bless the Lord, my soul. Peggy's offering of special music today is composed by Jacques Berthier of the Taze community. Peggy. Today at our time of prayer we want to give thanks to God for our joys and we always like to mention our friends who are celebrating birthdays and we give thanks to God. This week for Hannah Oakley and for Gavin Knight celebrating as we turn our May calendars over to the month of June and then two other joys. Uh, one is that Hannah King has received her medical degree from the West Virginia School of Medicine. So Dr. Hannah Cox King, uh, we're so glad to celebrate with her after years of hard work. And uh, then also we've been praying for many months now for Newman and Peggy's friend, Danielle Murray, uh, who was expecting a baby and had several medical complications and was hospitalized a few times. and. Uh, the baby was born this morning. Uh, it's a little Pentecostal baby. <laughs> a little boy, John Jariah Murray. And um, he weighed five pounds and 12 five pounds and 12 ounces. And we celebrate with Danielle and, and all the family. So thanks be to God for those answers to prayers. And uh, then on our prayer list for intercessions today, we continue our prayers uh, for this coronavirus that, that uh, medical researchers will find the vaccine very soon and prayers for all the medical workers, all the caregivers, all the frontline workers, all those who are suffering with the virus, uh, that the Lord would bring 
healing very quickly and protection for all of the frontline workers. Uh, we want to pray for our government leaders and all the task forces. Um, you know about the, the one, the president's task force, uh, but we also have Bishop Taylor's task force for Holston Conference so we can determine when and whether we can be back in this setting in the sanctuary for public worship. And uh, so our church leaders are going to get together this week to uh, see what that plan is going to hold for us and uh, so with our hope and prayers, we'll see what is ahead and pray it is God's spirit leading us into a new opportunity for worship. We continue our prayers for Roger Jeffers, for Frida Worley, um, uh, Marjorie Helms's brother Ronald Phillips died this week and the funeral was held uh, Thursday in Miraval. So our hearts go out to these and for the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota, uh, with the unrest, the grief, um, the inequity, uh, the violence, we just pray for the Lord to intervene quickly and for the prayers of the saints to be lifted, that we would work together as Christ followers to pray for love and justice and peace for all. And then this week we've received four silent requests. So these are some of our prayers spoken. Be sure to lift your prayer concerns to the Lord. The Lord is always listening. And I offer this prayer for the church uh, on Pentecost Day. It's from our United Methodist Book of Worship. Do you join me in prayer? Oh, gracious God, we pray for your holy church universal, that you would be pleased to fill it with all truth and all peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it. Where it is an error, direct it. Where in anything it is amiss, reform it. Where it is right, establish it. Where it is in want, provide for it. Where it is divided, reunite it. For the sake of him who died and rose again and ever lives to make intercession for us, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Now, with the confidence of children of God, let us pray as our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So practice your good breathing techniques this week. And remember that God's spirit is always with us and is always with his church and with our church community. And so receive this benediction now. And we hope to see you again next Sunday. Thank you so much for being in worship with us this day. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forever. Amen. Amen.